BGP is the protocol that makes the internet work. It is based on path vector routing and is used for interdomain routing between different autonomous systems, as BGP as numbers are two bytes fields that are allocated by YANA and range from 065,535. RFC 4893 also discusses about 4-byte ASN ranging from 0 to 4,294,967,296. RFC 4,294,967,296. YANA's various activities can be broadly grouped into three categories. Domain names. YANA manages the DNS root and other functions such as the .int and ARPA domains. Number resources. YANA coordinates the global pool of IP and as numbers, providing them to regional internet registries. Protocol assignments. Internet protocols numbering systems are managed by YANA in conjunction with standards bodies. Both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses are generally assigned in a hierarchical manner. Users are assigned IP addresses by Internet Service Providers ISPs. ISPs obtain allocations of IP addresses from a local Internet Registry LIR, or National Internet Registry NIR or from their appropriate regional internet registry, RIR. The IANA's role is to allocate IP addresses from the pools of unallocated addresses to the RIRs according to their needs as described by global policy. When an RIR requires more IP addresses for allocation or assignment within its region, the YANA makes an additional allocation to the RIR. Note that YANA does not make allocations directly to ISPs or end-users except in specific circumstances such as allocations of multicast addresses or other protocol-specific needs. Reasons to use BGP Whenever we want the world to know about us, we need to advertise the prefixes out to them. When we share the information for some prefix, we actually build up the control plane. The control plane is always built upstream whereas the traffic i.e. the data plane flows downstream. Let us talk about reasons to use BGP. First of all, the main reason is scalability as BGP can handle thousands of thousands of routes that cannot be handled by IGPs. The internet routing table never converges and BGP is stable enough to take care of that too. BGP uses root attributes unlike IGPs that use link cost for routing decisions and hence traffic engineering can be implemented easily. Transit versus multi-homed networks Transit network. It is a network where transit traffic flows through it. It needs full routing table to make accurate decisions and should not use default routing. Multi-homed networks are enterprise networks with two or more connections to ISPs. They allow control of inbound and outbound routing policy. Do we really need BGP? How to make sure if we really need to run BGP? Well. Following are scenarios wherein there is no need to have BGP in your network. Single ISP connectivity. For such type of connectivity, only the default routing is sufficient. Limited memory or CPU. The global table needs GBs of memory just for storage. In case you don't have enough memory or CPU resources, there is no need to run BGP. IPv4 address space ownership. If you don't own your IPv4 addresses, BGP is not required as ISPs advertise the address space on your behalf. Important! 
Can we implement BGP without IGP protocol? If yes, then how can we do it? If no, why? One issue is network convergence, which is very slow with BGP. BGP timers are 60, hold time, and 180, dead time, seconds for Cisco. Of course we could change those timers. Other issues. BGP valid routes are based on path selection which is more complex than simple metric of OSPF or EIGRP. Configuration-wise, setting up BGP as IGP is complex and challenging in contrast to IGP. BGP concern is stability and works perfect in routing internet routes where changes do not happen too often whereas IGPs are designed for speed, fast recovery, reconvergence, multi-path or load balancing traffic. In the next part, we will discuss BGP tables and its messages. Thanks for taking out time and watching this.